one more question to learn more about markups and margins. Arco Fine Handbags prices its products to give a 40% margin. What rate of markup do they use? Let's remind ourselves first of what our formulas are. Percent margin, no cosound, is profit over sales. Percent markup, with that k sound, hard k, is profit over cost. Those are the two formulas we're going to use. I'm going to put in something that we're going to use throughout this course and also in math. When there are no numbers and there's no cost, sales, or profit, just make something up. We can do that because as we saw in our last example, proportionately the markup and margin are always the same. So it doesn't matter what we do. When we know the margin, I like to set sales to be $100 because $100 is easy to use. So let's pretend we have sales of $100. So we've got sales of $100 minus some sort of cost over profit. Well, what's our profit? Profit is 40% of sales. Or 0 0.40 times sales. And that comes from this formula. Percent margin equals profit over sales. Multiply both sides by sales and we come up with profit equals percent margin times sales. So our profit here is going to be 0 0.4 times $100, which is $40. Okay, fill that one in. If I made $100 in sales, my profit was 40, all I need to do is subtract to come up with a cost of $60. So my percent markup is going to be 40 over 60 or two thirds and I'm going to round that to 66.66666 or 66.67%. When in doubt, two decimal places after the percent sign. Here, we could have set sales to be anything we wanted. Had I set sales to be $1, I would have 60 cents worth of cost and 40 cents worth of sales. I also could have, sorry, worth of profit. I also could have set sales to be 237, but that makes the arithmetic harder. One, 100, 10, 1,000, those are easier numbers to work with. I'm gonna do parts B and C together because they really travel together. Our company had profits of 600,000, so what was their cost of goods sold? Well, let's go back to our percent markup. Percent markup is profit over cost. So 0 0.6667 is equal to the profit, $600,000 over cost, or we end up with cost equals $600,000 divided by 0 0.6667. I'm gonna make a note. If this algebra is tough for you, that's a good reason to go back into the homeworks and look at the introductory lesson zero homeworks. There's lots of good algebra there. I'm gonna go back to this question. All we have to do is say that this is actually $900,000. Let's go into part C right away. I wanted to do these together because what I really want to do is an income statement. Sales minus cost of goods sold equals gross profit minus operating expenses equals net profit. This is always a good way to start. Okay, they had profits of 
$600,000. And here, I'm gonna note it doesn't say so, but this must be gross profit or it doesn't make sense. So under gross profit, I'm going to write $600,000. I'm gonna write in my costs of $900,000. And then I'm going to go upwards and note that sales must be $900,000. So I'm going to use K for thousand plus $600,000. And that ends up with 1.5 million. Let's write that in. Okay. Operating costs, net profit. Right now, right next to this, I'm going to draw a common line income statement. 100%. I know the gross profit is 40% because that's the margin. We've already done that one and we know here then that the cost of goods sold is 60%. What do I know? The operating expenses are 5% of sales, 5%. That means that OP is going to be, take that sales and multiply it by 5%. That gives us $75,000. I put that into here. And now I have two options. I can do just subtraction. That gives me a net profit of $525,000. But I can also subtract these together. 40% minus 5% equals 35% percent net margin. It's difficult to know whether people are talking about gross margins and net margins. When in doubt, always try to clarify. In case we want to check our work, we can note that 35% of 1.5 million is equal to 525,000. So we'd get the same answer either way. Finally, let's do part D. The most recent shipment of bags had a cost of $270,000. What is the selling price? Well, this is back to the basics and we have sales equals cost times one plus the percent markup. When I put this together, I end up with $270,000 and I know my markup. It's one plus 0 0.66666667. In general, it's better not to round, but rounding in this case won't come up with a really big problem because we end up with sales of 450,000.